and a lawyer. And where does he live? 1405 Park Avenue. 1405 Park. Yeah, 14, no. 141540. 1054. Either that or 4501. Hey, lady, will you make up your mind? Will you please make up your mind, please? Why, Andrews, that's the nicest thing you've ever done for me. You've guessed exactly what I needed. Yes, I didn't guess it, sir. You told me to bring in an emotion patient tone. No, what? In a motion patient tone. Well, then it must have been mental telepathy. You know the effect of mind over matter. Or else you've been dreaming. Yes, sir, I, I'm beginning to think so, sir. Did the... Uh, didn't you find your comb and brush? What comb and brush? Why? The one you were looking for. Why, don't you suppose I know where to find my own comb and brush? Andrews? You're drunk. Yes, sir. A little drunk than I thought, sir. And you dare to admit it. You dare to stand there staggering at me at nine o'clock in the morning. Well, sir, you, you see, I, I've been having a little trouble. You've been having a little liquid lightning. Only one flash. I mean never say. Well, quit nipping. You think you're strong enough to get in some more of this white light? <laughs> yes, sir. Though I wish you'd have your breakfast, sir. <laughs> I don't see why you don't want to go in the dining room. Hey, <laughs> that's a nice dining room. Who said I didn't want to go into the dining room? Of course it's a nice dining room. It's my dining room. I'd like to see anybody try to keep me out of it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad to hear you say that, sir. <laughs> you do know where it is, don't you? Why, certainly. If nobody's moved it. See who that is? Yes, yes. <laughs> he must have had a worse night than I expected. Much worse. Excuse me, sir, but it's... I don't care who it is. Who the devil drank my coffee? Why, you did, sir, before you went in the dining room. I wanted to comb my hair. But you didn't comb your hair. I didn't, did I? Are you losing your mind? <laughs> yes, sir, I, I'm beginning to think so, sir. Will you snap out of it and get me some more coffee? Yes, sir, I, I was just going to, sir. When you told me to answer the front door bell. I told you to answer the... Well, you're hearing things as well as seeing them. Well, well, I did hear the front door bell, sir. Because there's proof of that. I opened it for two young ladies who wanted to see you. Two young ladies? Yes. They're dressed just alike. They must be twins. Well, I haven't any twins. You tell them to come back late this afternoon. He ought to be here by then. He? 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 Oh. oh, he? Well, whenever I say he, I always mean I. Haven't you noticed that? Not yet, sir. Well, you keep it in mind and bring that coffee to my room and some white rock. Yes. Nobody knows what a night he must have had. Nobody. Andrews, don't move so fast. You know, you break the speed limit. Oh, oh, sir. You, you've come back. You, you do want me to go to the front door before I bring you a white rock and coffee, don't you? I don't want any more coffee, stupid. I told you to answer that front door five minutes ago. What have you been doing, walking backwards? Yes, sir. Perhaps I have without, without knowing it. You know, you've got to cut out this early morning drinking. Yes, I will, sir. Indeed, I will. You better. I'll try and pull myself together, sir. And I'll tell the young ladies to call back later. What young ladies? The twins, sir. You said you couldn't see them. Andrews, this is getting serious. 
You never said one word to me about twins. <gasps> Didn't lie. You certainly did not. Where are these ladies? In the reception room, sir. The, the, the twins, sir. Oh, hello, Pitty Bird. Oh, oh, I'm so glad I found you. You are? Mm. Well, I'm glad somebody's glad. <laughs> Where's the rest of you, Andrew, who said you were twins? There were two of us, sir. I swear there were two of us. Oh, that's nothing. I've been seeing four. Four taxi cabs, four front doors, four of my own butlers, and... Boy, you yes, yes, please, 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 please. <laughs> Don't go, Andrew. Wait. What do you mean by coming here, Miss O'Dell? When you told me last night that you had to go home alone, didn't I put you in a taxi cab? Didn't I get the taxi cab driving your address? Didn't I? Well, yes, but the nasty old taxi cab fell apart. And it took them ages and ages to get together again. And anyway, I had no money. So I made him bring me here. He's waiting outside. <laughs> oh, money. Oh, that's all. Oh, well, that's simple. Yeah. Uh, oh, by Jove, I haven't a cent left myself. Andrews. I haven't a cent. That's one thing I'm sure of. Well, you go out in the kitchen and borrow something from the cook. She yes. ought to have some. She was paid yesterday. Yes. yes. I hope you know where that kitchen is. Yes, sir. Well, hurry. Yes, sir. Oh, Dickie, I'm so relieved. Whee! Diane, please. Oh, I want to play. Now you chase me. Uh, please, keep quiet. Oh, I'm too happy to be quiet. You come down. No, I want to. Come down. You come right down. I want to. Come down this minute. No. Come. All right. Whee! Whoopee! <laughs> what is this, please? A hangover or a fresh start? Oh, Dickie Bird, don't be harsh with me. Anybody can think you're my husband. I am always harsh in the morning. My loose moments end with breakfast. Anything that you have to say to me today will come up with the head of new business. Well, I don't want any new business. Oh, it was good enough for me. Oh. If you please, sir, the cook has a nickel. Nobody has a nickel. I don't want a nickel. What good is a nickel? Oh, here, you go outside. Go outside and find out exactly how much the yes, taxi cab bill is. Here. Hurry. Hurry. Oh, what am I going to do? Use that. We must hear get the yard. Would you like to get twenty dollars? We must hear. Would you get this young lady up in the guest room quickly? We must hear. Don't let anybody see her. No, monsieur. She came to see me. Ah, business. But Mrs. Mantell might not understand. No, monsieur, but I understand. Yeah. Come, madame. We go. Come, no, 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 no. I don't want to go. I don't want to. I don't want to go upstairs. Upstairs or I stand. There you go, reminding me of my husband again. Oh, poor Felix. What will he think if he can see me now? That's all right, that's all yeah. right. Listen, the bill is 50 bucks and I'm going to get it or I'm going to take it out of somebody's hide, understand? Yeah, yeah. You, you get your hide. I need your money. Here, madame, you will be safe here. Oh, no, madame. Madame, come here. I will give you a nickname here, huh? The bill is, uh, is 50 highs. Uh, I mean dollars. Well, see if you can pry it out of my, out of Mrs. Mann. Would it, wouldn't it uh, be better if I went to the bank, sir? That's a good idea. Go ahead. Yes. You go to the bank. Yes, sir. And uh, on your way to the bank, well, something got spilled on my coat last night. Drop it and leave it at the table for me, will you? Your, your coat? Yes, my coat. What's the matter with it? It won't bite you. But I, 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 I gave him the pair about half hour ago, sir. You gave him my coat? Yes, sir. I, I gave you a coat. Oh, oh, I'm afraid I'm going mad. Come, 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 pull yourself together, old man. I can't, sir. I, I seem to have lost all control. I begin to see them. There. There. I'm afraid of something. I got to go somewhere. I, I got to do something. I, I can't stand it. I can't stand it. I can't stand it. Let me go. Can't 
your Holy Spirit may exist on this this Saturday morning, can you? No. Say, you go home and get me a dress. All right, all right, I'll be back in a jiffy. Now, Richard. Oh, hello, Mother. How are you? I'm perfectly well. Well, that's swell. Where is he? Just getting ready to go to work. Work? Well, I never dreamed you wanted to go to work this morning after what happened last night. Why, what do you know about last night? Oh, not very much, but I can guess, can't I? Oh, yes, yes, you can guess. <laughs> you're some little guesser. Richard, I'm afraid you're going to be angry with me. But I missed all for the best. You meant what for the best? When I locked you in last night. You locked me in? Well, you were acting a bit strangely. You seemed nervous and excited. So I decided to give you a dose of prevention. So after you went there, I locked all the doors and took the keys upstairs with me. <laughs> you locked all the doors after I went to bed? Oh, well then I couldn't have gotten out. I couldn't have gotten out even if I wanted to. Of course you couldn't, Richard. And I was in there all night. <laughs> Are you ill again? No, no, I'm better. Oh, I, I'm much better. <laughs> oh, what a joke. Locked in cold storage all night, Mother, you are simply priceless. Who are you waiting at? Uh, nothing, Mother, nothing, nothing. In fact, less than nothing. I was simply waiting at myself. Oh, you're absurd, Richard. I am, Mother. I'm more than absurd. I'm positively hilarious. <laughs> oh, now, now I understand what was the matter with poor old Andrews. Oh, he must have been seeing things with a vengeance. <laughs> Andrew's condition is no left. I can't help it, Mother. I can't help it. You laugh too if you knew what I knew. No, 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 you wouldn't. Why not? Don't you think I can appreciate a joke? Go on, tell me. No, it's a secret. And if I told you, it would be no joke. Oh, now, don't tantalize me, Richard. Is it about you? Uh, rather. <laughs> and is there uh, someone else? Oh, decidedly someone else. <laughs> and then, is there another someone mixed up in the two? No, no, not exactly. Well, well, not yet anyway. Uh... Not yet? Oh, Richard, I knew it! The secret is about you, yeah. and someone else, uh -huh. and then another someone mixed up in it a little later. Uh -huh. <laughs> you dear boy, the secret is about you. Oh, you, you've had a letter from Adam. Have I had a letter? <laughs> oh, you dear ridiculous fellow. I don't blame you for being a hilarious. <laughs> I'm a bit hilarious myself. <laughs> Mother, what is it you think you know? <laughs> I don't think any longer, I'm sure. <laughs> If you're doing that for me, you can stop. I want my coat. Oh, Richard. <laughs> oh, how can you think of coats at a time like this? <laughs> Has she gone crazy, Hill? There's something the matter with her. Give us some air. Give us some air. Will I, will I take her out to it or bring it into her? Don't talk like a fool. Get her something to bring her back to herself. Yes, sir. And now you're talking, sir. Ah, you've got a good of that 